Hey YouTube, this is Nice Six Luke Man here to bring you the second race of the McGuire's Cup Series at California Speedway. And on the pole today is number 48 of Chris Summers, and on his outside is number 01 of Luke Martin. And starting third is the number 24 of Nick Mace, and the number 31 of Jordan Apolito. And today's spotlight driver is the number nineteen of Zach Zajac, starting twentieth position today, and let's see if he can get a decent finish in tonight's race or today's race. So yeah, let's get this thing underway. Chris Summer still leading. Let's go through the field, see how everything's going. And Luke Martin has taken the lead in lap one. On the high side. Luke Martin still has a lead. Let's keep his camera around the mid path, I guess. And wait. Number one of Martin Truex Jr. seems to have a lot of troubles because he has left the race. Bad luck for the number one team. And Chris Summers has taken back his lead. And lap three of 13. And Nick Mace goes for the lead, followed by Jake Bassinger, Connor Breton, and Matt Garvey. Wow, the field has gotten split up a lot from that one car slowing down. Looks like the top six cars are single file. Until Connor Breton had to ruin it. Let's go on board with our spotlight driver, Zach Zajac. Currently running 19th, same as his number. Can he pull it off today at California? Our Daytona 500 winner is in 12th currently. Who's in the lead? Number 17 has taken over the lead. Jacob Baskinger, followed by Tom Hondrews. Lap 6 of 13. As Tom Hunters dives low for the lead.
Tom Hodges will lead lap seven. Or lap six, on to lap seven. Jake Baskinger fighting hard on the outside, trying to get his lead back. And Baskinger clears him by a long shot. Matt Carter and Robbie Hardy Jr. following right behind them. Looks like the field's pretty split up right now. Wow, there's a lot of damage to the back of the 16 car. And Matt Carter has taken over second place from Tom Haunters. Robbie Hardy Jr. fighting to the outside of Tom Haunters. Jake Basinger has pulled out to a huge lead. And the 09 car of Derek Walker is on pit road. Wow, that 9 car is a ton of front end damage. I don't know how these cars get damaged so massively without bringing out a caution. 8 car is damaged. And drivers are making pit stops. Whoa, the 09 just got very sideways. Tom Hunter's exiting pit road as the rest of the field makes their way in. Or almost the rest of the field. I'm not sure if the people who just picked it live before these guys can make it. Oh, and the number 16 gets spun on pit road. How ironic that I had to pick him. Let's go see how our... Eh, actually, it's not, because... Yeah. It's up to fourth, but it's still during caution. Er, not caution, but during pit stops. Getting my wins all mixed up right now. As of the moment, number 24 is back to 42nd position. Who is our leader? Looks like the 45 car has run it out of gas. Bad luck for our only female racer, Brianna Riley. Terrible luck. The car is just going straight through her. Nice game. Nice. Yeah. Um, okay, let's try to find our current leader. Yep, as I said, lap 11, all the rest of the cars that pit, or some of the cars that pit on the first one, have to pit again. And here's our leader, Connor Breton in the number 5 Kellogg's Chevrolet. A lot of people have to make pit stops. Ron Edwards up to 7th. Lap 12 to 13. Let's go on board with our spotlight driver, Zach Zajac. Final lap. He is up to second place. Watch out for that 29 car of Kevin Harvick coming off pit road. Here comes Chris Summers, a pole, pole sitter in third place. 
can Connor Breen win this race? Can our spotlight driver Zach Zajac win this race? Or can Chris Summers pull it off? Coming out of turn three and four on the last lap. And the 19 car gets loose. He is barrel rolling through turn four. That does not look good. The caution did come out for that. He was racing second. He could have got second place finish. Let's go on board of them. Oh, look at his car. That thing is more U-shaped than it should be. Let's go on board. Coming out of turn four. Gets loose. And he gets hit by the number 07 car. And starts barreling rapidly through turn four. Poor luck for our num for our spotlight driver Zach Zajac. I think I just saw something else happen. Let's go on board with, with the number. 44 of Corey O'Malley. What was Tom Hunters doing? Oh, he just makes a direct left turn and he rolled it over. <laughs> uh, crazy computer cars. Sorry for the laughter, but it's kind of hard to not laugh at that. Um, yeah. And looks like Tom Hodgers has run a thing out of gas. Okay, and congrats to our winner, which I believe is, yes it is, it's the number five of Connor Breen. Congrats to him winning at California, and let's go see our results. Connor Breen finishes first, and Chris Summers second, Jake Bassinger third, Nick Mays fourth, and after his violent flip, he's Zach Zajac somehow pulls off a fifth place finish. And right behind him is his teammate in the number nine, Jim, uh, yes, Jim Zajac, and seventh, Kevin Harvick, eighth, Matt Carter. Ninth is a number 26 of Timothy Smith, and rounding out the top 10 is a number 10 car. No, no, no not number 10 car, number 43 car of Noah Hart. And here's where everyone finished. Tom Hunter's all the way back to 30th after running out of gas. And there's the number 44 of Corey O'Malley who randomly flipped on the front stretch under caution. Oh no. Um, yeah, I got a 37 somehow because all these guys had many issues. And Luke Martin is pretty consistent. 40th place finishes two weeks in a row. And finishing dead last is number one car, Martin Truex Jr. So yeah, this was the California race. And comment, rate, subscribe, any more suggestions. And yeah, see you next time.